Saturday, the 7th of July, 2018, was a red letter day, which will be etched in a very special place for Chief Anthony Digby, SEN, and his lovely wife, Chief Mrs. Elizabeth Digby, as their beautiful daughter, Isioma Nina Alexis Digby, who is a graduate of law from the University of Kent, UK, began her first step into becoming a mother. Yes, that was the day Isioma Nina Alexis Digby, who is an entertainment lawyer and her heartthrob, Baba Clement Ikanadiagba, a graduate of economics from the London University, had their traditional engagement ceremony. Chief Anthony Digby Essien, who holds the prestigious traditional chieftaincy title of Akolono Abasaba, is a senior partner at Punuka Attorney and Solicitors, while his wife, Chief Mrs. Elizabeth Digby, is a seasoned and renowned corporate player. The parents of the handsome groom, Baba Clement Ikanadiagba, our late elder Pius Kadri Ikanadiagba, and Princess Catherine Urubosa Ikanadiagba from Edo State. Since it was an affair between the Edo and Delta State people, as to be expected, the attendance at the event was predominantly made up of people from Edo and Delta States. The father of the bride, Chief Anthony Digby Essien, took the bowl of colonnade to the elders of the family, who prayed on it before they broke it as tradition demands. This function was performed by Chief George Unyemenam, the Diakbo of Umezia Fadia village, Umwaji quarters in Asaba, Delta State. If I was only that, I got it. He said, I have to know that you are all the other I found you. He came out to my gossip. So that mass will not be on the other one. The other one. <laughs> the couple, Isioma Nina Alexis Idigbe and Baba Clement Ikanadiagba, were called out by the Master of Ceremonies and Son of the Soil, Silva of Fogo for the special prayers by the father of the bride, Chief Anthony Idigbe Essien, the Akolono of Asaba. The couple also went round to be prayed for by elders of the family on both sides. The traditional marriage between Isioma Nin Alexis Idigbe and Baba Clement Ikonadiagba, a renowned photographer and filmmaker who holds a degree in economics from the University of London, also featured the reception. There was the cutting of the engagement cake and a long lineup of photo and video session as friends took turns to pose with a couple and their parents, memorabilia with which to continue to remember the event. <music> The church service for the solemnization of the holy matrimony between Isioma Nina Alexis, the beautiful daughter of Chief Anthony Digby Essien and Chief Mrs. Elizabeth Digby from Delta State, and her bow, Baba Clement Ikanadiagba, son of His Royal Majesty, late Elder Pius Kadri Ikanadiagba, and Princess Catherine Urubusa Ikanadiagba from Edo State, took place at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Catholic Church. Victoria Island, Lagos, on Saturday, the 14th of July, 2018. The Ikonodi Agba and families were honored and surrounded by their friends, family members, and well-wishers, who were all adorned in elegant attires, to share in the joy of a marriage union. Dignitaries who graced the occasion were Nigeria's former head of state, General Yakubu Gowan and wife, Mrs. Victoria Gowan, former Governor of Edo State and National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Comrade Adams Oshomole and wife, Mrs. Lara Oshomole, former Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Mrs. Victoria Urilukwe Adefulure, among many others. The church service commenced with the entry of the bride, Isioma Nina Alexis Idigbe, 
who was walked down the aisle by her father, Chief Anthony Digby S.A.N. The first reading, which was taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, was read by Miss Chidiadi Ngbemena, which led swiftly into the sermon of the service. In the sermon, the officiating minister, the Reverend Father Marcellinus Okolawo Teko, administrator at the Holy Cross Cathedral, Lagos, enjoins the couple to make their marriage one that is embedded in Christ. He said, Marriage is a creation of God. Therefore, God is the sustainer and finisher of marriage. He also urged them to show undiluted love and respect for each other and resist outside interference from any quarters. Reverend Father Marcellinus Okolawo Teko also advised the couple to make their marriage a project of their lives and a project for life. He admonished them to commit themselves to their marriage and be determined to make it work. So, is your man and papa? All of us are here because of you today. All of us are here because you have gathered us here. Were you not here, we would not have been here. If you had not called us, this gathering wouldn't have been. You discovered each other. You got acquainted with each other. You fell in love with each other. And now, having tested that love for a while, you are willing to commit it to a lifelong relationship in marriage. He also urged the parents of the couple and the congregation not to relent in their prayers towards the success of the marriage. The joining and blessing of the couple was next, as the officiating minister presided over the exchange of vows by the couple. For my lovely husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward. for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death he was found. Amen. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. What God has done, man does not divide. By the authority granted me by the church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. The prayer for the faithful followed, after which was the administration of the Holy Communion. The signing of the marriage certificate commenced afterwards. As a couple, their parents and witnesses made their way to the stand. The Thanksgiving session was next as the congregation danced joyfully given glory to God for the lives of the Konadi Agbas and the Digbeis.
After that, the couple were introduced to the church as the choir led in more hymnal renditions, which ushered out the needy word. The reception for the wedding between Baba Clemente Konadiagba and Isioma Nina Alexis Edigbe was held at the Federal Palace Hotel, Victoria Island, Lagos. The families of the bride and groom left no stone unturned in making sure that the occasion was top-notch as they pampered their guests to the best of both African and continental dishes. Entering the tastefully and highly decorated event center, one can tell that the ambience and deco reflects the warm personality of the Konadi Agbas and the Digbeis. The reception ceremony, which was compared by multi-award-winning Nigerian comedian, TV presenter and MC, Binga Deinga I, was set in motion by the joyous entry of the family of the groom, Prince Clem and Princess Catherine Ikanadiagba. Princess Catherine Ikanadiagba, who was joined by her friends and family members, was all smiles as she danced heartily to the songs of Thanksgiving provided by the vintage band. This was followed by the entry of the bride's family, Chief Anthony Idigbe Essien and Chief Mrs. Elizabeth Idigbe, who were also supported by their friends and family members. As guests waited patiently for the entry of the bride and groom, the ever-entertaining vintage band serenaded the hall with very good music. Later on, the most anticipated part of the ceremony came, the entry of the latest couple in town, Mr. and Mrs. Baba Ikanadiagba, as they stormed the arena in well-thought-out dance moves, heralded by the bridesmaid and groomsmen, who displayed very attractive dance steps to the medleys of songs provided by top Nigerian arts. The chairman of the occasion, Comrade Adam Sashamale, advised the couple to learn the tool of communication as it plays a vital role in sustaining a long, happy relationship. He further implored them to avoid external interference and live together in peace and oneness. To show my mama, we have two methods of all of our Nigeria, like the father and the mother of the day. And of course, we are two parents. They connect the ball and pass it back front to strike us, but they are central to the success of the team. And if they are able to put up across the country's social network, I will see people from other countries. I believe they
To supervise the cutting of the cake was Mrs. Victoria Gowan, who was joined by Mrs. Lara Oshomole and family of the sponsors of the occasion, Mrs. Henretta Ojako. E S S U S S. Can we have a round of applause for the couple, please? Other items that were observed included the father and daughter dance, mother and son dance, and the couple's first dance, which sets the hall to a lively atmosphere. The dance floor, which was declared open by the newlywed, saw guests dancing heartily as the vintage band rolled out quality music, which saw all dancing to the rhythm. From Biscon Communications, we wish the Konadi Agba and the Digbe families, as well as the newly wed, Mr. and Mrs. Baba Ikonadi Agba, God's guardians and protection as they embark on a journey of a lifetime together. <laughs>